Hey, it's Morella Manelli, and today I'm gonna show you how to create subtle highlights utilizing a teasy light technique. This is a great technique if you want that rooted baby light effect or if you want something super low maintenance. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. Now let's go ahead and get started. So before I get started on the TZ light technique that I'm about to show you, I wanted to kind of cover the money piece sectioning that I did here in the front. So I have a triangular piece right onto that fringe area, as well as two highlights on each side. And then for the sectioning, I took it a little below the apex and then right down behind the ear in a zigzag section. If you wanna check out the money piece technique, I'm gonna put a link to that video right here and you can also find it in the description so to get started on the teasy light i'm taking a one inch section and then weaving out a zigzag section to create depth right underneath and then i'm teasing the hair by holding it completely 90 degrees right off of the head and then i'm painting on my blue powder lightener so for this first foil, the hair isn't super, super long, so I am layering it right onto one foil and then flat wrapping it. For my next section, I'm taking about an inch, inch and a half. So it's just really all relative to how much depth you wanna create, but I'm still taking that zigzag sectioning to create that depth and then holding the hair out and teasing it. And I am using a wide tooth comb. It's a carbon comb that I got at Cosmoprof, so you can find one similar to it at your local distributor. And when I go in and insert this foil, I'm brushing those tease pieces up, applying my lightener just a few inches down, and then stroking it up to give me a nice blend. And now I'm gonna go through and saturate those mids and ends. So with really long hair like this, I do like to double up my foils. And this is just so that way I can make sure I get a good saturation of my product so it lifts nice and evenly. And just a little trick that I like to do is trifold when the foils are this long. And generally I'm an, either a trifolder or a flat wrapper. That's just kind of what I do. Now for the remaining part of this head, I'm gonna continue on. Now, usually when I get towards the top, I do like to start to put my highlights a little closer together. So for the underneath, you'll find that I'll do about inch and a half subsections, but then for the top, I'll start to make them inch subsections, and that's just because typically you want it to be a little bit more brighter towards the top of the head. Now, what you're also noticing is that I'm using horizontal sections. Now, the reason why I'm going in with horizontal sections is because this is gonna give me the most coverage and the most blended effect. If you wanna learn more about placements and the effects they create, you can also check out a YouTube that I created on four foil placements and the effects they create. I'll put the link right here and also in the description. Now, another thing that I wanted to add is you are also seeing that the zigzagged partings that I'm doing is really creating depth. So it's all relative to each and every single client, how much blonding they want and how much depth that they need. But just keep in mind that you need to have the depth in order for your highlights to pop and to be visible. If you're going in with too many highlights, what you're gonna do is create lots of overall blonding and creating a really blended effect when we're going in horizontally. Now, a couple of tips that I think are really important when you're doing teasy lights is you're gonna wanna make sure that you're teasing the hair all the way down. I know this seems scary, but I promise when you are getting ready to rinse out, you use proper conditioner and a good brush, it will come out nice and smoothly, which I'll show you a little bit later. So you just wanna make sure you get that kinda packed down so it kinda stays out of the way, and then I even take my comb and push it up just a little bit more so that way I can get as close as possible. Now, if you're going for a super rooted effect, you don't need to pack it in. Um, and then another tip here is when you are doubling up on the foil, if you have the lightener pushed through all the way, it naturally just sticks. So I get questions on this all of the time. So just make sure you apply enough lightener for that foil to actually stick in place. 
Now when I get ready to do this very top section, I'm actually gonna split it right down the middle and I'm zigzagging each side and taking my final piece right in the center. And this one's actually pretty thick and that's just so if the client does part her hair right down the center, regardless of how she places her hair, it's gonna look completely seamless. And I'm actually taking the section all the way back to past the apex, which is kind of a large section. But since we're going in in this manner, it just kind of naturally falls right in place unless the client has a lot of layers going on, then you're going to want to change up the placement in the back. But generally, if they have long hair, this placement does amazing and looks really beautiful on the back as well. So now I'm going to let this blue powder lightener that I mixed up at a one to two mixing ratio process for about 20 minutes and just keep my eye on it until I get the amount of lift that I'm looking for. Make sure to thoroughly shampoo out and condition, but when you get ready to condition, a really good tip is to work in the bowl with lots of conditioner, but here I'm just demonstrating with the blow dry spray from Kenra Professional. They also have a really good detangler called the Pearl Detangler that works actually amazing. And you're gonna wanna use a brush that's specific for detangling. So I'm actually using my Fermar brush and I just start by gently brushing right on the mid part of the tees to help loosen it up a little bit. Now if you have lots of conditioner or you could even use a treatment at the bowl and then just take your time gradually brushing out gently these tangles. So like I said it should come out rather easy if you're using a good conditioner or a mask and a good detangling brush. You can't just use any old brush or any old comb, you need to use a detangling brush. So one like this for more one or a wet brush would be perfect. And here's the final result of our subtle highlights utilizing a TZ light technique using all Kenra color. Just to recap, we went in with blue powder lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer and then processed her for about 20 minutes. And then for her final glaze, I used Demi Permanent in 10N at a one to two mixing ratio with nine volume developer and then processed her for 15 minutes. So I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial and if you did give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and make sure to check out my other videos on this channel and I hope to see you guys next time.